Welcome to the channel, everybody, and thank you so much for joining me. We are playing Terraria, The Labor of Love, episode number five, I think it is. Keith, is that right? We're on five now? Yeah, buddy. All What's right. On, everybody? I'm just practicing my yo-yo skills. Let's see here. We got... Look out, look yep, look at mine. Mine's just a little... Oh, oh not fair. Sure. He's got the Keen Rally, and I've got the Malays. But uh, that was a pretty lucky find we got last episode. That Keen Rally he got was just laying in the lava when we went down below Spelunkin. If I hadn't seen yeah, it, we would have awesome. missed that sucker. So I this is this thing real quick. Oh, yeah, this yeah. is the first oh, time oh, Keen. What he just drop? You, oh, I don't know. What was that? The kite? A blue kite. kite. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's just a vanity item. Just toss it in the chest. You guys want to um, see us explore a little bit or what? What do you think, right? We need to go along the surface. Now, here's what we should, should do. Let's go to the right. I want you to take advantage of that uh, flying carpet you got, and I want you to just blow th right through the corruption. Like, I'm going to try and follow you, but I might get killed. Don't stop. Just don't even fight anything. Whoops. You don't think we can do some damage with our yo two yo-yos? I think we can, but it's going to be slow going, and these eater okay. world things are going to freaking gang up on us like you won't believe, buddy. We just need to move. So you want through me to just here. just burn out and burn out, or wait? yeah, just go. I, I mean, I guess we can try and kill him, but oh, don't get hit. Oh man, he got me already. I'm flying. Well, I'm watch going. your Whoa. fall damage. Oh, you don't. You, you yeah, don't turns have... out that it doesn't last forever. <laughs> I mean, my yo-yo is actually handling itself. Oh, Christ. Oh, it fell in the water. <laughs> Thank God, I thought it was dead. Oh, no, two of them are coming. Oh, Poor Kiefer didn't I make it. I can't handle I can't handle it. Yeah, the carpet doesn't stay up forever. No, no, it does <laughs> <So> not. <laughs> I thought you might have known that, but that's okay. You can't know everything. You know? Well, I thought that I could just, when I'm falling, I could go ahead and hit it again, but it, it, it didn't let me do that. Well, I am still alive over here. I ended up getting a, a rifle. Um, yeah, I have a nimble musket. I'm going to use that instead of my... I've got very limited ammo, though, on it. How many... Oh, I only got 31 torches. Oh, crap! And this yo-yo is just... Nasty. Love it. Yeah, I just took care of one there. One I guess you were right. We really don't need to just blaze through here. We can kind of fight these things. I didn't think we could, but we can. Uh, I'm just having seriously a hard time getting out of here. <laughs> I fell down in the pit. Oh, crap. These things just appear out of nowhere. All right. Yeah, don't wait for me. Just go, go, go. If you get to the jungle, grab any moon glow that you come across. We're looking for moon glow. In quantity. Sticker birds are hurting me or something. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. All right. Oh, oh. Yeah, these yo yo's are, are pretty bad, bro. And you know I what's made great? It to the frozen tundra here. Awesome. Oh, good. If there's an underground area that you can get to, I say I recommend go underground. Oh Christ! There's a big old worm over here, bro. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Oh, he got me. Uh, he came right at me. It's all right. I'm gonna make it across. I'm coming to you. Yeah. If you get to the ice biome, go underground and start just exploring any any caverns or anything down below. I'll try and make my way to you. But uh, ice biome's great, especially early on. It's got some really good loot in it. Oh, I'm tempted to pop this iron skin potion that I've got. Might be my best best way to reach. Reminds me, pumpkin. Oh yeah. Okay, I found a little. Yep. Found me a little cavern to get into here. I need to eat um, pumpkin too. Glad you said that. All right, here I come. Watch out, eaters. I'm coming for you. I'm going to try and make some. Oh, bro. What I happened? made a freaking platinum axe, not a pickaxe. Oh, no. Well, I mean, it's not the end of the world. You'll eventually want that axe. But yeah, that's kind of a, a blunder. That's a letdown. That's a blunder. Do you still have your copper one with you? <laughs> 
Upload? Yeah, I think so. Let me check. Oh god, do I not have it? What'd you find? Oh, did you go underground? Damn. That does it's suck. Okay. I'm heading your way, slowly but surely. I'm building platforms and stuff so we can get over this terrain a lot easier next time. I don't even have a hammer. Oop, I'm seeing a lot of these things come for me. Oh, Christ, there's a bunch of them. Oh, my God, there's like... Oh, Christ. That's it, I'm dead. I knew it. <laughs> ah, there was like seven of them. I couldn't do anything. Uh, it's starting to get late too. Um, we did we did a valiant effort there exploring the surface, but uh, I'm gonna have to go underground. I think our elevator's actually almost reached its way to hell, hasn't it? I think so. What? What am I looking for? I guess I don't have enough pumpkin to make any more pie. I thought it did, but no worries. Okay. So where are you at? You made it, oh look at you, you made it all the way over there into the ice biome, and you got no pickaxe. Is that right? You got no pickaxe? That's true, that's true. <laughs> what are you even doing over there? <laughs> Hold on, I gotta look below. Well, I have a furnace here. Oh. I brought with me, right? Remember? Right, right, yeah. I got that going. You gotta what make a pickaxe. What else do I gotta do at this point though? To make a pickaxe? Well, yeah. you need an what anvil. I need to be... <clears throat> you need an anvil. Okay. You might be better off just to come home. Do you have a recall potion or no? I've only yeah. got I only have one personally, but uh I do have a recall. I just got all the way over here though, you know. God. Yeah, I understand. I mean stay there and do it. Sure. It wasn't that difficult, but I don't even have what it takes to make an anvil, it looks like either. Which what do I need for an anvil? Um, iron or lead. You need lead. Oops. Oh, I got bars. I don't have just regular lead. All right. Crap. All right, then. You know, I'm thinking... I'm going to actually come, come back up. I'm going to die and come back up. Oh, crap. I dropped three gold. Shoot. I forgot I had just picked that up. Oh, well. Gold isn't that hard to get. I'm coming back up, though, because I'm going to spend this evening, instead of spelunking, I think I'm going to build us some houses, because we definitely need a few NPCs. So, I'm going to build a little bit. I'm going to need a bunch of wood for that, though. Let's see here. I guess I'll just use this copper axe. I wish I had a platinum axe. <laughs> yeah, right. Huh. <laughs> All right, so I'm not going to do anything especially pretty or fancy. I'm just going to build some really, really functional utilitarian housing. Eventually, we'll probably, you know, once we start moving the villagers to the different biomes, then we'll build something fancy. But for right now, the name of the game is Quick and Simple. And also, I would use the descriptor prison-like. That's also an accurate description of what their houses are going to be like. Very prison-like. Uh, you need to just die. Is what I, need. I don't want to use recall. I don't even have much money on me either. Yeah, just die then. You're good. Nobody will mourn you. Don't worry. Get out of here. Yep. All right. Do do do. I chopped down some trees with that axe. It didn't feel like it was that much better. Really? Are you serious though? Because mine is super slow. It's it's annoyingly slow. Maybe I just haven't used it in a while. I used it. In a yeah. While. Why don't you switch me? I'll give you my copper pickaxe and you or my copper axe and you try this one. Okay. Hmm. 
Pink axe. There we go. Alright. I feel better. Did you make something? You make a better pickaxe? Pickaxe. I made sure it was a pickaxe this time. Good, good. Alright, let me make sure this is going to be enough. I actually do kind of like this robot vanity. <laughs> silly, I know it's silly, but who cares? So you can make pumpkin armor? Yeah. Uh, I have a lot better than the wood. Is it? I have well, no I mean, idea. I was going to say I have no idea. The wood breastplate's it's... one defense and mm. the pumpkin's three. Oh, wow. That is way better. Did you happen to pick up any silver bars while you were over there? Probably not. You didn't have a pickaxe, did you? No. I did not, unfortunately. Mm. Now, Keith, you're about to witness the most basic setup here for NPC housing. This is literally the crappiest housing you will ever see. The bare minimum. Like I said, borderline prison. Yep, see that house right there? That one? Mm -hmm. That is suiting. That is suitable as housing. So once we get an NPC to move in up there, they can never get back out. Wow. Yeah, that is very prison like in there. We can get up in there, but uh, they're not going to use these platforms. So they will be uh -huh. trapped. They will be trapped. It's a good, good way to farm money, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you keep doing that. And I'm gonna build the houses. And the yo-yo is indestructible as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not gonna, yeah, it's not gonna break or anything. No weapons have any kind of durability or anything like that in this game. Okay, what do I want? Another table. Bada bing. The yo-yo feels like it's almost like a cheat. <laughs> really that's awesome and you know it's technically a melee weapon so any bonuses you get from your armor that like boost melee will affect your yo-yo it's a really nice weapon yeah i like it oops forgot the light okay so we should probably see some upcs moving in here eventually Hey, get back over here. I need you uh, need you to keep these eyeballs off my back. Okay. I'm creating masterpieces over here. I can't, Who wants some, huh? I can't be Who bothered. wants some? Yo-Yo Mas. Who wants some? Did you say Yo-Yo Mas? <laughs> what does that mean? Mm. Mm. I heard it somewhere. Yo-Yo Ma yo -yo. is a yo -yo uh, is a cellist. <laughs> you know where you heard that yeah. from? That's from uh, Seinfeld when Seinfeld. Kramer, Kramer Kramer gets hit yeah. on the head and he just says Yo-Yo Ma. But Yo-Yo Ma is a real person. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah. It may be crappy houses, but they all have to be symmetrical with each other. That's 100% true. Everything has to be perfectly lined up. You're doing that. That's good. Grab all these stars, too, if you can. Get up here. Don't let these stars go to waste, sir. I still don't know what, what they're for. Okay, well, um, number one, they can be used as an ammo. They, there's, a, there's a gun later on down the road that uses stars as ammunition, and it's a pretty powerful gun. So for one thing, you want to kind of start collecting them for down the road. But number two, every time you get five of, or is it five? It's three or five. Open up your crafting inventory. How many do you have? Do you, do you know right now? Uh, Check it out once you get to safety. Uh, six. Okay, go into your uh, crafting menu and you should see a blue star called a mana crystal. Craft up as many of those as you can. 
and use that the same way, you know, those hearts that increase your life total. You can use those blue stars to increase your mana total. Now, I usually don't, personally, I don't play with ma uh, magic weapons all that much, but you might want to, so it's worth expanding our mana. Okay. Looks like you get one for every five. Is it five? Okay. Yeah, so but you can have, I don't remember what it is, I want to say like 200 mana. I've got 60 right now, so yeah, we'll just keep making blue mana crystals as we get the stars. But again, oh yeah, and uh, Jester arrows, really, really nice arrows for your bow, um, are made with stars. Alright. Need some more wall. Do you get any wood on you? How much wood you got? Give uh, me all your wood. Or give me your axe. Oh, I think I... Oh, you gave me boreal wood. I don't want your stinking mean? boreal wood. It's just a different oh, kind here it of is. wood. Here you go. Yeah, if you go to different biomes, like the snow biome, there's boreal wood there instead of regular wood. And it'll look different when yeah, you're building. Exactly. It's the different building. Let me material. guess, you don't want it to look different. <laughs> no, are you kidding? <laughs> what was I doing? I was over here trying to craft something that I've completely forgotten. Because you distracted me, sir. Um oh I needed more wood for the the walls. Why am I not seeing I, that? I picked up a shameful zombie arm. Oh. <laughs> it's very shameful. It's terrible weapon too. It actually has like minus stuff. Right, that's the shameful modifier. That's uh, if it was just a regular zombie arm, it didn't have that shameful. It would be, uh, probably be a lot better. Not like an incredible weapon, but um, yeah, it'd be better because the zombie arm is not a very great weapon. Mm. Now, later on, we can turn it into something useful, but I won't get into that right now. Uh, let me see here. All right, I'm just going to do one more here. Call it quits. For now. For now. Is your hot bar completely filled? Yes. I've got sword, yo-yo, rifle bow, axe, pickaxe, and then some building materials. Oh, and then slot zero is my recall potions. Oh, that's what, that wood I gave you. That's what I'm missing. What? What'd you give me? I have an empty space and I was like wondering what do I need to put there? And just regular wood is what I had. Oh. What I had there. Well, you can so. have this boreal wood back. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, Take I got it. No use does for it, it. Does it make platforms? Oh, yeah. You can make platforms with it. Absolutely. Um, I need a hammer to make a freaking hammer. Right now, I'm just going to do it. Give me that. All right. Good. All right. Um, so this has turned into a building episode, but that's okay. Two, three. I'm surprised no nobody's moved in yet. What's going on? Where's all the NPCs? Usually, as soon as you get housing up, they're like, oh, we got to move oh, is in. Is it daytime now? Yeah, it's daytime now. Oh, you know what time it is then. Time Sorry to go exploring? God. Back on a mission. Now, let me ask you this very critical question. Do you have a pickaxe, Keith? I'm swinging it right now. You <laughs> it? Swinging it at me. Oh, look, I got a magical pumpkin seed. Check it out. I got a little companion, Keith. See him? Say hi. Uh -huh. Say hi to Keith. Hi. 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 Little Jacko. Ja Jacko Lantern. He's not a very friendly looking guy, is he? Yeah, that's no, he's not. Well, we're going to put him in the chest because I don't really care for these guys. They kind of get in my way when I build and stuff. So I usually just put them in the chest. Do, do, do. What else? Get rid of that, that. All right, buddy. Are you, are you already on your way? Are you already on your way? Yeah, yeah. You, uh, you coming? I, I am, slowly but surely. Sorry, I had to clear out my inventories. I left part of that structure kind of half built, but oh well. It's pretty dark and ominous over here. See where you fell down. I don't want to go there. Oh gosh. I know. It was pretty dang treacherous. 
Oh, good. I got a hammer now. Look, see, told you, arms dealer just showed up. Oh, oh my gosh, I had five eaters of souls chasing me. Well, I tell you what, let's stick together this time. Get, uh, get, get respawn and get yourself caught up to where I'm at. Uh, we, yeah, we shouldn't probably be trying to make this journey separately. I'll come back. I'm with you. I see you. There he is. We got an eater. Keith, you just killed the bird. How dare you? Alright. Survival of the fittest. Okay, we got another. I'm going to do some more platforming, so. Over here, where are you doing that? Oh, you went a little far. I still got that. What? I don't. I didn't understand a word you just said, sir. <laughs> I'll cover you. Cover oh, you. we got that. See, this is where we get in, run into problems. So let's just move. Oop, okay, don't don't do that jump. That was a dumb jump. Yeah. Oh god. See. Oh, good job. You held him off, buddy. Just don't, just don't panic. Just don't panic, you know? You That's true. Though, they keep coming. Yeah, we stand we too can't long. Panic. They will spawn all over our butts. There's two more over here. Oh, one behind us, one in front of us. Oh, God, there's two coming now. I'm going to kill oh, this. Oh, no, there's three coming. Yeah, yep. I was going to say, whoop. You got to go, bro. They're not coming for me for some reason. They know who the bigger threat is. Oh, now they're coming you know. for you. <laughs> yeah, and I, I, got, I had to get a little closer. Get, turn around, turn around. <laughs> got turn stuck. Around. I used my stupid grappling hook. Get out of here. Woo, we made it. Yes. Oh, God. We're not over oh, yet. Not quite. Yes, we need to spend a, as much time over here in the snow as possible. Well, I think the next time we come, oh, we got through, one more chasing us. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot easier Bad to call get through there. For us, bro. Bad call. <laughs> you Bad. Little little guy, you got him. All right, I am gonna get some of the boreal wood though. I do like it. It's just I don't need it for what we were working on earlier. It's probably my second favorite wood. Although I haven't done What's much with favorite? the new the new ash wood. Uh just the regular wood is my favorite. Alright, let's go. Oh, put some platforms over this water. It's annoying. Okay, it's annoying enough that uh this will help. Oh, it turns out you gotta get this last one, huh? Good enough, good enough. We got a whole bunch of slimes down below us. Oh, I see where Keith set up an impromptu little base down here. Nice. I'll take all that loot. Alright, so is this... Is this open? Where I got to. Yeah, this is open down here, buddy. Nice. And be careful, because you will slip and slide on this ice. So that can that can be deadly sometimes if you're not careful. You got uh, pumpkin pie coursing through your veins right now. I do now. I think there might be a cavern over to the right. It's hard. Oh, you know what? Hold on, I see some ore. Oh yeah, it's silver. I just want to see if there's anything in this dark patch right here. I feel like... Oh. Yeah, I thought there was a cavern over here. A small one. There's one below us. Oh, dark trap. Oh, God. Oh, ah. You go, care. <laughs> you go, care. 
I didn't even think I hit it, but I guess I did. Oh, I'm not dead yet. Keith almost gave up on life there. Yeah, get that dart trap if you can. Save yourself, buddy. You are you are suffering from poison. It looks like you got hit with it as well. I'm gonna try and make my way back over to you. Oh wait, there's uh yeah, we got the uh what's it called? Oh, I don't have any gold on me. Hold on a second. This Okay, stay where you're at. I'm coming to you. Okay, I'm going to buy us a couple of piggy banks. One for me, one for you. And let me grab some bullets from this dude. What do I need? Musket balls? Ooh. Oh, that's too expensive. All right. Coming back, coming to you, dude. You still alive over there? Oh yeah, I'm thriving now. He's thriving, he says. He's thriving. I've got to get through the, uh, what's it called? Uh, the corruption, so wish me luck. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, after going through there and putting those platforms down, that is, that is helpful. If I do say so myself. Oh, the yeah. music just got all ominous and scary. I'm not scared of you. You don't scare. I mean, maybe I'm a little something, scared. There's something going on over here. You gotta be careful. What you got? Some I don't enemies. Know, I'm making my way over there now. Got some enemies coming at you. Dead. Goodbye, eaters. Whoa. Yeah, this would not oh. be possible without this yo-yo. What's wrong? I think there's a booby trap up there near me. Look at you finding them and stuff. Awesome. Now, what's the best way to take them out? Depends on what it is. Is it a trap chest or is it just like a dart? Oh, it looks like it may be a trap chest. Well, if it's a trap chest, you got to be very careful and go all around it, including above it, and make sure you dig out all the traps. Go below, above, and both to both sides of it. It's just a single trap, like a dart trap, then just go dig it out of the wall. But if it is a chest and you suspect it's trapped, you got to really search it carefully. What the heck? Ooh, this hit. Just did damage to me. I don't even know what it was. Might be slush, like like the desert. Oh. The the frozen area has slush and stuff that'll land oh, yes. on your head. I hear you. Right. I'm with you again, buddy. We made it. There he is. Here, come here. I got something for you. There you go. Piggy bank. You can put all your coins in that now. Put your coins in that, and um, you can. You can spend them right out of the piggy bank. You don't have to, like, every time you want to go to a vendor, you don't have to, like, grab your coins out of the chest. You just, they'll spend it right out of the piggy bank. So it's a very handy item. Oh, I put them in the piggy, inside the piggy bank. Well, you need to set down oh, the piggy bank. It. Yeah, and you have to place it on platforms. So there, it has to have to be on, pla it can't just be placed on regular ground, I don't think. No, it has to be on platforms. And then just... Put your coins in. There you go. And I also tend to like, while I'm exploring, I'll put other stuff in there if I get too full. You know, I'll just jump a bunch of stuff in there and keep exploring, you know? Hey. All right, how do I put it in there? Mm, just like you do with a chest. Just the way you right-click on your piggy bank. Oh, that's... <sighs> yeah, right-click on that just like you would a chest and then put your items in. I pretty much just tossed my coins at it. It hit it, and the <laughs> coins just fell. <laughs> yeah, no, that didn't work. That's not the way. That's okay. And yeah. then what do I do? Break it? or Yeah, I just break or... it. No, just hit it with your uh, pickaxe. Yep, break it and bring it with you. I tend to put a, a favorite uh, uh, border around it. Do you know how to favorite items in your inventory? Hold down the alt uh -huh. key and left click it and that way it won't stack thing it won't stack it off into like any inventory even if it's got matching items you can hold on to stuff so hold down the alt button and then just okay. left click it 
and it'll right. stay. Do you do that with anything else? I do with all kinds. I do with my torches. I do with my glow sticks, my healing potions, my wood. Basically everything in my hat bar, even though that's kind of unnecessary. But while I start to, when I'm first starting out, I keep all my metal on me too. So I keep my lead bars and my lead ore. I keep those all favorited in my inventory. Just so I kind of... what does that do again? Well, favorite? it just means so like if I've got a stack of uh, iron ore in that chest back home and I quick stack everything out of my inventory, it won't quick stack the iron ore in my inventory because I've got it favorited. Oh, okay. So it just gotcha. permanently saves it in your inventory no matter what you do. Um, but um, you can also take that off just by clicking it again with the alt button. But anyway, guys, we have officially run out of time for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me and Keith. You have a good time, Keith? That's been a pleasure. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. All right, Until next guys. Time. Absolutely. We'll see you next time.